Hello everyone and welcome to Club Reaction As a much changed Rangers team uh, beat Dundee United by two goals to nil At a rather sunny, pleasant day at Ibrox um, Today was very much a, uh, an end of season game I had the end of season vibes, there's absolutely no doubt about it But um, it was a, a very convincing win, a much changed team We've seen a lot of players that we, we've been kind of calling out to see And yeah, um, more than happy enough with the, the display today um, the as you say, it was much changed. Um, McLaughlin coming in, and uh, Tavernier, Goldson. I probably get this wrong. King, Barisic, Davis, Sands. Who else is there? Arfield. <laughs> uh, tells you everything. Arfield, Sakala, and who am I missing? Scott Wright. Scott Wright. There we go. Got there in the end. Got there in the end. Uh, yeah, oh, and Aaron Ramsey, there you go, shows you how much I, I, we've not seen Aaron Ramsey, Aaron Ramsey made an appearance um, First half, it was all Rangers, absolutely dominated the, the entire half um, Their keeper kept them in it, we were unlucky a couple of times, I think, a few dodgy offside calls possibly But um, it was all Rangers, it was very, very comfortable uh, Dundee United are not a very good team whatsoever, when you consider... Uh, what the team went, ended up to going on and being um, t For them to not even have a shot on target As far as I'm aware Not that I can remember They didn't have a shot on target So no Not a very good team at all um, Very good display by Tony Watt However um, I've never seen diving like it Unless it was a, in the Olympics to be honest It was incredible how, how easy he went down It wasn't a particularly windy day at Ibrox today But his centre of balance was all over the place Anytime anyone when anywhere near him, he fell over. Um, rather embarrassing for him, to be completely honest. But yeah, in the first half, um, I, I literally just watched Steve Davis the entire game, uh, the entire half even. Uh, it's an absolute privilege to watch that guy play football. Strolled about that park like he owned it. And yeah, he, he's passing, his movement. He's always been there for a pass. He's a, we say it all the time, but he's an absolute Rolls Royce of a, um, of a player. And it is a real privilege to, to, to watch him playing football. Uh, very, very, very impressive. I say uh, maybe a wee bit frustrated the fact that we hadn't, we hadn't took the lead in the first half. But I mean, Ibrox was in fine voice. It was a lovely day. A few retro tops kicking about, and yeah, it was a, a real good atmosphere today. Ibrox, that is for sure. Um, in the second half, and we made a change. Uh, Diallo came on for Scott Wright, and I can't believe I'm going to say it, but Diallo was really good today. Really, really good in that second half. I thought he was very impressive. Um, Dundee United did their best to try and break him in too uh, a, a few horrific tackles on him, on him honestly Really, really um, over the top tackles Which obviously the, the officiating in Scotland just let go um, But they yeah, really not good Apart, well, One of them, he did get booked eventually off McLean One of their defenders again though That was more under pressure of the Rangers player Because it looked like he was just going to let it go uh, And then eventually made the booking But some of the moves Diallo did today, the wee chip ball over the over the defender to run away from him, yes, very, very impressive. That's a, that's the Diallo that we want to see. And um yeah, maybe it's the, the no pressure on the game, because the game, as I say, it was very end of season vibes today, but um it did take for us to get a penalty and an absolute stone wall penalty it was. Ramsey I thought was a much better in the second half. Uh, for when for the time that he was on anyway than he was in the first. Um, again, you just see his football and brain and the, the way that they can play. But some of the link up play between Davis, Arfield, and um, Ramsey it was really really good to watch. Really good to watch in Sakala again trying his hard out again a wee bit with the end product. Not great for him, but it was Sakala that got put through for that one and he was absolutely taken out by the keeper. A stone wall penalty, stone wall as you like. And James Tavernier steps up and James Tavernier does what James Tavernier does and he. He puts it away, makes it 1-0 And from then we've we, we seen a number of changes A, a lot of youth coming on uh, Devine came on, McCann came on And Lowry came on who has just signed a three year deal Which is absolutely superb by Rangers to get that done um, Good, uh, we're protecting ourselves Saying to my dad, um, my dad was saying to me as well He's like, I'm really excited about this boy I said, I'm extremely excited about him I think We'll struggle to keep hold of him And you can see how good a player that he is Some of his passing is incredible Honestly, for the age that the boy is He just takes the ball Some of the crossfield passes One pass in particular Diallo was offside for uh, But the pass to him um, It was 
sublime, honestly, absolutely sublime. He's a real talent, this boy, for sure. I thought McCann um, was good. Um, I thought he, he 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 came on and he was very steady in the middle of the pitch. Same as Devine. Um, very strange to see when you're looking at the right back position and James Tavernier's not there. It's very very strange. Uh, but Tav Tav came off to a very very good ovation as well from the crowd. But yeah, a, a, a very a very solid showing by all the all the youth the, the youth players. And um, yeah. Uh, we then take advantage of a pretty poor bit of play by Dundee United, the middle of the park, they lose out to the ball, Sakala slips in Diallo and this time he shoots and he scores and that's it, 2-0 and the game was over at that point, really, really over. Um, a, a, a solid end of season display by Rangers, there's not really much more I can add to it, it was as easy as you like, um, a much changed team Um uh, and they really, the Dundee United really struggled to do anything. Conor Goldson did his best to give them a goal at one point, uh, as he did a pass back to McLaughlin, who was had moved out actually away from the centre of the goal. And the only thing that I could think was that uh, he's probably used to a goalkeeper that doesn't move that much, and Alan McGregor. Uh, so yeah, just a wee bit of a probably a brain fart. That's probably the nicest way to put it. Uh, and he's just uh, a bit McLaughlin got to it, but that was a wee, a wee panic moment from everyone. And yeah, the, the game finished two 0 Look, today was um, as at the end of season as end of season could be. Uh, but we we did witness to the 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 players coming on with the um, with their families at the end to to kind of do the kind of lap of on at the end of the season and what what a um, what a nice thing to see it really was and they got the the praise for their efforts of getting us to the Europa Europa League final. Have, have, have we mentioned that? Have we mentioned that we're going to the final uh, in Seville? Absolutely, still cannot believe it. Still have wee moments when I'm thinking to myself, "Yep, they're going to Seville." Absolutely uh, incredible. But yeah, a, a really nice day, a really good day. Um, as a routine, as routine win, as you would expect. And yeah, it is, it is what it is today. That's probably the nicest way to put it. It is what it is today. But very good to see a, a much retained, a much rotated squad. Um, still be able to with deal with with Dundee United it was rather pleasing and very good to see some of the youth players getting a run out it's what we've kind of been waiting for and it's what we should be doing we have to prioritise now because we're hopefully going to go and make history so that'll do me um, for today um, as always like the video subscribe to the YouTube channel all the usual stuff uh, I am going in to sort out all the t-shirt orders as well so um, that way you'll get confirmation soon enough uh, that everything has been ordered and it's, it's happening so keep your eyes peeled for that and yes we'll be back on Tuesday with a Club Deck Corner so until then we are Club at 22 at the Rangers podcast enjoy the rest of your sunny Sunday night and I'll speak to you on Tuesday cheers everybody